All right, now that we've seen the video about the history of Mother's Day and how it all began, we're going to now read the article called Mother's Day Regret. Mother's Day Regret. So, Jay Leno, can you go ahead and read the first paragraph for me? Yes, ma'am. Mother Day comes once a year, but it is not a small affair. It is a day that puts dollar signs in the hearts of retailers, panic, and minds of elaborate shoppers. Shopping. When we tend to fix it in the hearts of mothers and the hopes that they will be appreciated for all they do. It is not uncommon for people to spend hundreds of dollars on their mothers, which is likely to disconnect of the person credited when they make the holiday. All right, guys, so do not forget, as we are reading, you're going to find words that you do not know the meaning of, that you're curious about, a word that is unknown to you. When you find these words, add it to your paper. I mean, the column that says words. So if there were any words in that first paragraph that were unknown to you, go ahead and, and go ahead and add it to your list. Did anyone see any words in, in here that were unknown? Yes, I did. All right, what did you see? Dismay. Dismay. What about you, Taylor? What? No small tear. Okay, I'll let you have it. Yes. This may again, okay. You said retailers? Retailers. All right, again, if you do not know a word, you write it down. Do not let a classmate influence you. Don't even let me influence you. I know I just said a fair, but don't let me influence you either. What did you just say, Giovanni? Dismay, right, so if you don't know dismay, add it to your column. Add it to your column, add it to your, if you don't know retailers, add it to your column. If you don't know a fair, add it to your column. All right, does everyone know the definition of anticipation? You don't know anticipation? Well, that's one that you are from, unfamiliar with, you can add that one too. What about credited? We know, we know what credited means? All right, awesome. All right, thank you, and the next reader, uh, Draylen. Anna Jarvis, the founder of Mother's Day, spent more than a decade lobbying for a day to honor, mother, to honor mothers as a way to honor her own mother and then spent the rest of her life trying to end it. Anna's mother had founded Mother's Day work clubs which were dedicated to teaching women how to care for their children. After her mother's death, Jarvis decided, dedicated herself to seeing a holiday added to honor her own mother and all the mothers of the world. She envisioned a day where the community members would wear carnation and visit their mother or attend a church service. Unfortunately, the day quickly took him on a life of its own and Jarvis was not happy with the outcome as it was far from the one she had wished for. In 1914, a bill was signed recognizing it as a national holiday. All right, thank you. I right, look in that paragraph. Were there any words that you saw or heard read that were unfamiliar to you? All right, Caleb. Lobbying. Lobbying, okay. Anyone else? Envision, all right. Are there any more words? Carnation, okay. All right, I know that paragraph is important to me. I remember when I was attending church, my mom's home church and my dad's home church. Every Sunday, or mother, whenever Mother's Day occurred, we would have to go to church, we would have to wear a carnation. I never knew where that came from. I thought it was something that my mother made up. We have to wear a carnation on our dress or on our shirt. So we had to wear white if the mother had passed away red or pink if your mother was still alive. And I remember wearing those things when I was growing up. So for the longest time, I was wearing red and pink if my mother was alive. But now, I put on a white one because my mother has passed. So I did not know where that came from. So reading this right here has shown me where it came from. It came from Anna Jarvis. Hmm. All right, are y'all done writing your words? All right, next paragraph, Haley. Thank you. 
All right, thank you. Can y'all imagine that? A holiday that she wanted to create to honor her mother went out of control, it came out of control. Now everyone celebrates it. Everybody celebrates it. And it was not her intention. All right, so I've had two interruptions, so I hope that's not too bad. All right, so in that paragraph, you can tell even by Haley, I can tell right now, Haley, the words that you're probably gonna add to your list. But if you have some words in that paragraph that were uncomfortable to you, unknown to you, you didn't even know how to pronounce, go ahead and add those words to your list. And what were those words? You can tell me. Confectionary. What's another one? Confectioners. So confectionary. Once you know what confectionary means, you'll probably know what confectioners is. All right, is there another one? Load. Yes, load. That's a good one. Load. All right, what about another word in here? Y'all see another word? I do see credited again. Credited was in the first paragraph. I see that one again and this one, but y'all see, y'all already knew what that word meant. Is there any other word in here that y'all didn't recognize? All right. Now that we have our words on our paper, I want you to go through and look at those words once again, and I want you to write down how many syllables you can add or figure out in each of those words, and write the number of syllables beside the word in a column that says syllables. So look at your words and count the syllables. I don't think you have to clap your hands. I still clap my hands. So do whatever you need to do when you're trying to figure out the syllable of the word. section or column, and then add the root word in the root word column. any affixes in any of the words, put in A. Put in A beside that word. That means not applicable or not applied. That means it does not exist. It does not exist. So put in A beside that word. If you have no prefixes or no suffixes, put in A.
Are y'all ready? All right, do me a favor now. Take out your Chromebook. If, you Chrome, if your Chromebook is already out, then great. So go ahead and start looking up the definition of these words. Go ahead and start looking up the definition of these words. All right, who put down the word, uh, let's see, dismay? Who put down the word dismay? All right, so let's see what dismay means. Dismay has how many syllables? All right, what is the affix? All right, and what is the root word? All right, so tell me what dismay means. What does dismay mean? Who think they already know? Oh, I think I All right, tell me what you think it means. Stress? Yes, JB. Like, like dismiss. Dismiss? We all we say using this, this in the word. Like, no. like out of control. Out of control. All right, who has a definition for dismay? All right, what is it, Kayla? All right, so distress was correct, and it means something that is caused by something that you did not expect to happen is what unexpected, was unexpected. So Anna Jarvis did not expect Mother's Day to be the big business that it is to this very day. Like Haley said earlier, she spent $60 on her Mother's, Mother's Day gift. That's a lot of money. I'm pretty sure Anna Jarvis would be like, oh, in her grave right now. That's a lot of money for one gift. But I'm sure your mother, earned, she earned it. I'm pretty sure she deserves it. I'm pretty sure. But how many of y'all remember when y'all were little kids? What did y'all have to do for y'all mom? And she was just ecstatic. What y'all had to do for y'all mom? Oh, I made a cup. You made a cup? Yeah. Out of what? And, uh, out of clay. Out of clay. Mm -hmm. Elementary school, yes. What else did y'all do when y'all were younger? Yes. Drew a picture, yes. 